Mrs. Warren, I've finished. Mrs. Warren! Out of here. Out. get home and find I've left behind me all this really important. Uh -huh. And I'm going to miss you. Thanks. Well, let me see. Hardly know where to begin. The place is such a muddle. Let's go finish this. I never did like these rugs anyway. I think I'll get some new ones. New oh, ones. I'll, 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 Besides, you'll be late for your train. Are you watching the time? Yes, I'm plenty of time. And I hate waiting rooms. Uh, well, you can't sit around. Why do you suppose I waited for you to go on your vacation before I started cleaning house? <laughs> you're, you're the most disorganized woman I ever knew. You think you'll ever get all this back together again? I hope so. I have a man coming to help me. Good. Where'd you find him? Came looking for work yesterday. <coughs> oh, <coughs> don't spread it, dear. Dust. What's the sense in dusting all of them? Seems to me you make a lot of extra work for yourself. 
Why don't you have each person who wants to read a book dust it himself? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Armstrong. Good morning, Ruth. Hello, Helen. Good morning, Ruth. What? What hit this place? Yeah, I thought you were gone on your vacation. She put me to work. <laughs> Why are you here so early? I'm being punished. Dad and Mother went over to the Ellisons for the day. So I'm supposed to help you. On a Saturday, too. Don't tell me you were out late again last night. That after all, you went so with your mother last week. I'm not a child. Look who's not a child. Lots of girls my age are married and have children. Oh, I wouldn't say lots. Had your breakfast? Yes, thanks. Good. Then supposing you get right to work. Don't I even get a chance to catch my breath? No, you can do that while you dust the shades. Oh, my. It's a slave anyway. Ruth, dear, exactly how long did your mother say I was to punish you today? Just work me to the bone, I suppose. I see. Well, the rate we're going, I don't think we'll get to the bone till next fall. Just because I was out late last night. Parents are so insensitive. We had such a beautiful evening planned. I'll never be able to face Tom when he finds out I've been ordered to stay home tonight, just like a child. It's Tom now. Oh, dear, whatever happened to Larry? I thought he was the big love of your life. Larry just wasn't for me. Found that out when I met Tom. You've been out of touch with men for so long, Aunt Helen. You wouldn't understand. Oh, I don't know. My poor old memory isn't that dim. Oh, I wonder if I've got everything. Um, Ruth, I really don't think you ought to stay here and help me anymore today. You mean I can go home? No, come here. I want you to deliver these packages to the school for the party this evening. A nice lot of them. See that you deliver them. Oh. When you've finished, I want you to drop this box of old clothes at the church for me. I guess everybody wants me to die of exhaustion. Don't you think that's too much to ask a woman of her advanced age? <laughs> guess this will fill up my whole day. Oh, no, I want you to come back when you're through. Perhaps by then I'll have found a large wash for you to do or something. That's sweet of you. Goodbye, Mr. Armstrong. I hope you have a nice Christmas. Thanks, Ruth, and goodbye. Oh, peace at last. <laughs> It is nice, isn't it? Oh, yes. Now I can finish the rest of my Christmas packages. I've, uh... Yes? I have something to straighten out with you. Now, this... This should take care of my room for two more weeks, shouldn't it? Mm -hmm. And as I told you, if Mr. Frank shows up, you can let him have it while I'm away. Then you won't be uh, alone in the house. I'll be all right, thanks. Well, I don't expect any telephone calls. You have my following address, and... I'm going to miss that room. Ned liked that room, too. He kept writing about how much he missed it while he was in the service. I... Heavens, what time is it? Oh, plenty of time. Nearly an hour. You're not that early and you know it. Now hurry along or you'll really be late. Oh, all right. I wish I could send you a box of snow from where I'm going. So do I. Oh, let me help you. <coughs> well, I haven't heard Corky bark in ages. Wonder what's the matter with him. <coughs> I decided he's going to be a watchdog. Afraid of Corky. <laughs> he couldn't be. Now hurry or you're going to miss that train. Corky, you bad dog. Up. Come here. Bad boy. I'm sorry. I don't know what's come over him. Glad you're here. Uh, the name is... Uh... Howard Wilton, oh, ma'am. That's right. Howard Wilton, Mr. Armstrong. I'm glad to meet you. I know you're going to be a great help, Mr. Gordon. I hope to be. I tried to make friends with him. Oh, he just doesn't trust strangers. Well, I'm sorry. Nice meeting you. <laughs> Goodbye, Ellen. Goodbye, dear. And and drop me a card, won't you? Oh, I'll do that. <laughs> Goodbye, Corky. Goodbye. See him off to the gate, Corky. Go on. Oh, my. Sorry I'm late. 
Well, that's all right. There's so much to do. I... Oh, yes, the week. Here. Thank you. Where does it go? Uh, right over the door. Thank you. The dog wasn't here when I came yesterday. No, he runs off all the time. I haven't seen a dog yet that liked me. You probably imagine they don't like you. That looks nice. Have you ever owned one? No. Better come inside and get started now. Oh, yes, I think I'd like the floors wax first. Floors are my specialty. Maybe I don't work as fast as others, but when I finish, you know they've really been polished. <laughs> That's good. Well, I'll get the waxing things. Shouldn't carry that. It's too heavy. <laughs> Thank you. You should let me get it. Oh, I'm used to carrying well, it. You won't carry it anymore. Now, uh... Oh, yes. Why don't you put the rugs on the front lawn? Then they'll be out of your way. All right. Any help, Mrs. Gordon? No, thanks. I'm just getting some boxes. Gordon, if you don't mind, I'd like to take my coat somewhere else. Your coat? Well, yes, sir. You see, I didn't know it was a storage closet. It might get dirty. It's my only coat. Oh. Well, I... 
have a cedar closet upstairs. You can put it there if you like. Yes. As soon as I get rid of these, I'll take it up. If you'll tell me where the closet is, I'll take it up. Oh, it's the first door on the right at the top of the stairs. Wouldn't want you running upstairs on my account. Nine two, please. Yes, thank you. Uh, hello, this is Mrs. Gordon. Would you get Mr. Anderson for me? Hello, Mr. Anderson. Uh, I've got quite a Christmas list for you. Thank you. Well, then I'll expect him. Late this afternoon? Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Bye. Would you like me to help you trim the tree? Oh, no, thank you. I just wanted to look at them. I really think we should get on with the work now. Mrs. Gordon. Yes? You're not dissatisfied with the work I'm doing, are you? I know. So far, you're doing very well. And you weren't telephoning anybody about me, were you? Why, no. Why should I? Besides, who would I call? I don't need any references. I was just phoning about some groceries. You see, I'm very anxious to make good on this job. I always try to do my best. I work very hard, but nobody realizes it. I get paid, but... isn't it? Would you like to tell me about it? No, it's, it's nothing. Oh, now, haven't you ever been troubled and talked things over with one of your friends? I haven't any friends. Just because you work for me is no reason why we can't be friends. Yes, it is. Why? Because I'll only be here for today, Mrs. Gordon. I'll Clean your house, do my job, and be gone and forgotten as far as you're concerned, and looking for the next job, wherever that is. Oh, no, that isn't necessarily true. Why, you might fit in here very nicely. I like you. You need the work, and I certainly need someone to help me. You mean maybe I could come back? Yes, we might even have a regular day every week. Perhaps even two. Oh, that'd be fine. But it won't work out that way. Oh, why not? This will be just like all the other jobs. Most people only have me once. Or at best, twice. Perhaps they can't afford it. Why do they have me in the first place? Well, please forgive me for saying this. It's, it's really none of my business. But you know, if you keep things too long within yourself, you forget how to share your troubles with others. You shut everyone away from you, as you're doing now. Don't you see? What I'm trying to say is, 
I know what it is to be lonely, too. I think I'd better get on with my work. Of course, I didn't mean to offend you. I know you didn't. If you need anything, I'll be upstairs. Just call me. a nice looking man to have around the house. Did you see Mr. Armstrong? Yes. <laughs> Not much, huh? I said to Aunt Helen only the other day, if you're gonna have a man around, at least have a lively one. After all, just because you're a widow doesn't mean you have to turn yourself into an old maid. Good heavens, Uncle Ned's been dead almost two years. But I guess once you've been married, you can't ever be an old maid again. Not exactly, can you? I know one thing. Aunt Helen won't be quite so lonely anymore with you around. Not very talkative, are you? Gee, when I see nice shiny floors like this, I feel like dancing. Do you, do, do you like to dance? No. Do you know how? No. Maybe you'd like to learn. No, I wouldn't. I've had less cooperation in my entire life. <laughs> think I'm funny? Not particularly. I don't like being laughed at. Well, aren't you the bundle of nerves? Listen, you. I don't see many men around polishing floors. It's a woman's job. Thank you, Mark. Seems to me there's better ways for a man to make a living. Howard. Howard? How long have you been watching me, Mrs. Gordon? What are you talking about? 
You'd like me to work faster? Is that what you want? Are you well? You well enough to work? Yes, of course I am. Big hero, isn't he? That's my husband. He was killed during the war. Killed? Yes. Oh, I see. Now it all fits. I'm alive and, and he's dead. And it should be the other way around, isn't that what you think? How can you say such things? Because it's true, that's why. You're ill. Let's put the work away. Put the work away. Now you don't want me to do the job, is that it? You're just like the army. There was a job to be done there, too, but they wouldn't let me in. Now you want me to stop in the middle of this. I think you've said enough. You better leave. I'll pay you for the time you've put in. How dare you? You're not going to make me feel weak the way they did. That room full of men. I was just as strong. Just as good as they were. I failed. And they offered me coffee and donuts. Tried to tell me they were doing it all for my own good, that I wasn't well. But while the others were signing up, I had to sit there like a tired old man and sip coffee. I'm sorry. That's all right. I'm tired. Yes, I No, I understand. I really think you should go home. I don't know where my home is. No. No. Where did you come from when, when you arrived here this morning? I don't know. I told you I forget things. But you must have a home. A room someplace. No. Sometimes, when I start out in the morning, I say to myself, remember to come back here tonight this is where you live. But I can't remember. I can't remember. Well, don't worry. Between us, we'll, we'll straighten out everything. Will we? Right. Will we? Yes, of course. We can call the... There are places we can call. No, don't call. Why not? They'll ask questions. Questions that I wouldn't be able to answer. But don't you understand that if anyone questioned you, it would only be in an effort to help you. No, don't call. But Howard, you're ill. It would be sensible to get to... No, that's what I've been trying to tell you. I've had enough of them. Please, don't get any doctors around here. They wouldn't understand. Not the way you do. You understand. I can feel it. I can tell... anything to hurt you? No, of course you haven't. I'm glad. Because I wouldn't want to hurt you. And I might, you know. I don't believe that. I'm just not feeling well, that's all. You don't know what it means, like I do, to find myself in the middle of a room, in the middle of a busy street, or in some house I'm working in. A thing like that happens. I wonder where I am. What I'm doing. And, and sometimes I'm, 
I'm looking down at someone. Somebody that's been hurt. And they've been hurt very badly. I wonder if I've done it. If what I'm looking at is real. or It's only in my mind. Then I begin to run. I hide. But I don't know what I'm hiding from. It's bad enough to hide. Not to know what you're hiding from. There are days when I pick up a newspaper and I see that somebody's been murdered. And I ask myself, could I have been there at that time? Could I have done this thing? Where was I yesterday? What causes these blank spaces? What causes them? I don't know. No. Perhaps if we get a doctor. I told you, I've had enough of doctors. Just tell me one thing. Do you know what started things going wrong this morning? No, I don't. I remember something about a man being here. Was there a man here? Yes. What was his name? Mr. Armstrong. His room's here. Oh, yes, I remember. He's the one who started it all. What do you mean? I was coming up the walk. There was a dog barking, and he was standing right here. He was laughing at me. He wasn't. Really, he wasn't. Oh, yes, he was, and you know he was. How would you imagine him things? No, he had a suitcase in his hand and his overcoat over his arm. Where are you going? To let him in, of course. He can't harm you. Please, Howard. All right. Where's the key? Wherever you put it, I suppose. I never lock the doors from the inside during the daytime. Give me the key. I don't have your key. Yes, you have. I tell you, I don't have your key. Very well. I'll get him in the back way. Where's your rumor now, Mrs. Gordon? Is he coming back soon? Yes. Yes, he is coming back. He should be here any minute. Good. Then I can ask him if he was laughing at me when I arrived this morning. I wouldn't wait for him if I were you. There might be trouble. Trouble? He won't like it when he finds you've locked me in this house. What do you mean? Try the door. You've probably forgotten you locked it. You've told me you don't remember things you do. Oh, please, if you went quietly now, there won't be any trouble. I promise you. I'll try the front door. I must have locked that door just like you said and forgotten about it. I'm sorry, I, I don't know why I'd do such a thing. Well, we'll forget about it. Now that you know you did it and that I wasn't lying. Most people would have been angry and called the police. Howard, I'd rather Mr. Armstrong didn't find you here when he gets back. But instead, you were kind and patient. I wonder, Mrs. Gordon, could I stay here until I'm well again? Please. That's not possible. For one thing, I, I haven't room. You have room for Mr. Armstrong. Well, yes, but you couldn't expect me to ask him to leave, could you? But you don't seem to understand I haven't any other place to go and... It's so nice here. 
I've never in my life met anyone as kind as you are. Howard, please go now before Mr. Armstrong gets back. Oh. Here we are. If it weren't for him, I could stay here, couldn't I? Well, uh, maybe I could talk to him. Yes, perhaps we could make some arrangements with him for later. You mean you'd talk to him about giving up his room? Yes. You could tell him how much I needed to be here, couldn't you? Yes, I'll talk to him, but on one condition. I'll do anything. That you go now, then I'll let you know what he has to say later. Well, that'll be fine. But, uh, how will you get in touch with me? Well, you call me. I I'll give you my phone number. Oh. Just a minute. I'll get a pencil and write it down. But I might forget to call you. you. You know how it is with me. Oh, no, you won't. Now, you just call me. And I'll let you know what arrangements have been made about the room. Here. Thank you for everything. That's all right. You do think he'll understand, don't you? Oh, I'm sure he will. Well, goodbye, Howard. Goodbye. Well, I can't go without my coat. Oh, well, that's all right. I'll get it. about renting the room. Is Mrs. Gordon in? What did you say? Mrs. Gordon. You see, uh, Armstrong wrote me. He was sure it would be all right with her if I took his room for a couple of weeks while he's on his trip back east. Oh. Well, you suppose I could uh, speak to Mrs. Gordon? You see, uh, Armstrong told me he, he was sure it would be all right with her. The if, room has been rented. Uh, you don't understand. That's If I could just talk to Mrs. Gordon, uh, perhaps she might know of another place, and I... I... Sorry, but Mrs. Gordon isn't here now. Goodbye. Find your coat. Where did you put it? Never mind. I'm not going anywhere. What do you mean? You promised to leave if I spoke to Mr. Armstrong. You can't break your promise. You can't. Why can't I? What's come over you? Why have you changed your mind just when you were being so reasonable? Just when I thought you were so different, that I could trust you. I'm very disappointed. What have I done? You've lied! That's what you've done. No, I haven't. Oh, yes, you have. You're just full of tricks, aren't you? So Mr. Armstrong was coming right back, was he? But, well, he was. I, I thought he was. I... Now, when I lie, you can't count it as lying. Because sometimes I can't remember. But you took advantage of that. You thought I wouldn't remember that Mr. Armstrong had gone on a trip. Well, I didn't, until a man came to the door while you were upstairs wanting to rent his room. I don't know what you're talking about. So you were going to talk to Mr. Armstrong. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's too late to be sorry. Uh, please. What did you intend to do, me. call the police after I'd gone? No, Tell no. Tell them to be looking out for a stupid cur? No, honestly. What do you know about honesty? Uh, don't answer that. Oh, let me, please. Don't let me. go near it.
And don't try the window. What do you intend to do? How long are you going to hold me here? It's too bad things had to turn out this way. For a while, I thought everything was going to be all right. But now you've spoiled it all. I didn't mean to hurt you. Really, I didn't. From now on, I promise you. Promise? I know all about your promises. Please. Don't you realize I, I didn't mean it? I... Shut up. Leave me alone. I want to think things out. Warned you not to do no, that. No, let me go. Or I, what do you do? What do you let do? Let me go. You do nothing. No. You stay away from doors and windows. No. 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 Oh. Don't shout. That's because you weren't in school. <laughs> Hurry up, Jimmy. She told us not to be late. No one home. She must be. She said she was. She said no one home. those kids in because they might go for help. But you'd better be quiet. For their sake as well as yours. You wouldn't harm them. They're only children, please. Shut up and do as I tell don't, you. Don't go anywhere near them, please. Don't. It's 
do anything wrong anymore. I promise you. I won't do anything wrong. I want to show you what I've done. I've straightened out the room. You see, I, I rearranged the furniture so that everything balances. Better sit down here. I even trimmed the tree. Do you like it? I, uh, 
this mirror out. Kind of a winter pond. You have nice hands. We haven't eaten all day. Don't you think we ought to have some food? Yes. Yes, of course. What's your first name? Helen. Helen is a beautiful name. I've been in so many towns, so many places. I can't ever remember anyone caring about me. There must be someone who's close to you. Someone who at this very moment is wondering where you are, if you're in trouble. I don't think I ever loved anyone. And I know that no one ever loved me. Howard. Uh, Howard. I, I... I know I've, I've lied to you today. I haven't been fair. But from now on, I really will do things differently. I, I, I've been wrong in everything I've done so far. It, it's all been my fault. But things really will be different. Because we understand each other now, don't we? Yes. There'll be no more trouble. No more trouble. That's all I've ever wanted. M Mr. Armstrong's room is yours. You can have it. But I... I would like to see if it's tidy for you. You see, some of the drapes may be a little faded. And the rug, uh, one of the rugs worn. Well, you might even want some of the furniture moved around. So I'll just go up and take a look. I'll be right down. There's no need for you to come up. I told you, uh, I won't be long. I'm very good at fixing up rooms. I've never been able to afford much rent, so I had to do the best with what I had. things in order. This is nice, too. Let's 
It's a coat. It's an army coat. It was my husband's. I, I forgot to store it away. Soldiers go too. Just like your husband. No. Uh, Howard, remember we were going to fix up the room for you. Just like your husband. Here, let me help you take the coat off. No. 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 I think I'll change things around. Sometimes at night I, I can't sleep and I like to look out. I'll move the bed over by the window. Things will be different for me now. I'll have a new life here. Because you'll help me to forget the things that are bothering me. Very grateful. This... This isn't just a trick, is it? You're not just saying all these things. Because if I, if I thought you didn't mean them, I couldn't stand it. There's someone downstairs. Yes. We'd better let him in. Yes. Doug, the grocery boy. You better let him in. Door's locked. You'll get rid of him quick, won't you? Hi. Hello, Doug. What happened to your window, Mrs. Gordon? There's glass all over the porch. Yes, I know. It was an accident. Gee, that's too bad. Hi there. Doug, this is Howard Wilson. Glad to meet you. He's... he's working here today. See, that's well. Wish I had a job indoors today. It's getting chilly out. Mr. Benji gave me a hot cup of chocolate this morning. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's all right. Where's Corky, Mrs. Gordon? Oh, he, he ran off this morning. Shouldn't I go look for him? Uh, no, thank you. My Timmy's a smart dog, Mrs. Gordon. He never strays from our place. You've never seen him, have you? Oh. He's a big dog. And tricks? Not a thing that dog can't do when he puts his mind to it. Just yesterday... Yes, yes, I know. Say, are you all right, Mrs. Gordon? Oh, yes. Well, you don't look it. If it's Corky that's worrying you, I'll be glad to take a look for no, you. No, thank you. I, I just have a sort of a headache, that's all. Yeah? Ever hear of holding your breath for a headache? No, I haven't. Some kids at school were telling me. Doug, I'm perfectly all right. Mom takes aspirins for hers, if you haven't got any. I, I'm busy today. I have the time to talk. You don't have to check. I'm sure it's all there. But I've got to, Mrs. Gordon. Mr. Anderson says, always to be sure. If not all here, it means another trip. Very well. I'll give you a check, then. A check? How much is it? Doug, don't argue. How much is it? Four dollars and thirty-seven cents. All right. 
Say, is she giving you trouble today, too? Trouble? Yeah. She's always so nice. I like her better than any of my customers. She's busy. Yeah. And why is she taking time out to write a check? She always pays at the end of the month. I guess she's not going to trade with us anymore. Sure, she'll know if I did something wrong. Here's your money. Mrs. Gordon's going to give me a check. Never mind. But I haven't got change. Keep the change. Gee, thanks. Will you tell Mrs. Gordon that I'm sorry she's not feeling well, and if there's anything I can do... Go along now. We're, we're very busy. Sure. Well... You're insane. 
Finished now. I hope the floors look all right. I found this money in the kitchen while I was cleaning up. Was it meant for me? Yes. Thank you. I think I'll go home now. Very tired. This door is locked. You have the key. Why should I have? I have two keys. That's the one. Unlock it. Just unlock it. Hello, I'm Stephen from the phone company. That phone of yours has been reported out all day. Sorry I couldn't get here any sooner, but we've really been swamped. Is your phone out of order, Mrs. Gordon? Why, no. No, there must be some mistake. Well, that's funny. I've had several reports. Maybe I'd better go and check with Joe in the car. Oh, uh, just a minute. Uh, I wonder, could you do me a favor? Certainly. Uh, this man's been working here all day. He, he's not very well. I, I mean, he's very tired. I, I was wondering, could you drop him at the car line? Well, I'd be glad to. Thank you very much. But I can't wait long. Joe and I have another call to make way on the other side of town. Uh, no, right away. Howard, why don't you go out and sit in the car? Now that Mr. Stevens is here, I, I do want him to check the phone to see that all is in order. You will do that for me, won't you? Sure thing. Well, Mr. Stevens will be right, Howard. All right, Mrs. Gordon. Please, come in. Quickly, I don't want him to hear us. Of course, there's something wrong with the phone. He ripped the wires. He's insane. What? He tried to kill me. Are you serious? Yes, of course I am. He's locked me in this house all day. I... I even had to smash one of the kitchen windows to try and get out. Oh, please, you've got to believe me. Look, come with me and I'll prove it to you. Mrs. Gordon! Mrs. Gordon! 
He's gone, Mrs. Gordon. You better lock yourself inside. Oh, no, he can't have gone far. You've got to find him. You've got to. All right, but how about you? I'll be all right. Just find him. with a sheet over it. Oh, and I, I, uh, found some tickets. Tickets to a party. You must have picked them up by mistake. They must be yours. Stevens, it was nice of him to come back. 